was like shredding it. Hey, this is Naturally Nikita, and I am here to do a get to know me, I guess, because I'm having a hard time trying to think of a topic to talk about. So, there's a um, random question generator. It's on my phone. I'm also recording it, and hopefully it will be right here. And, okay, really quickly, if I don't want to answer the question, I will take a... Mm. A sip out of this uh, A to Z A to Z wine works the essence of Oregon and it is a Pinot Noir it's on the drier side it has some cranberry notes and black blue blackberry I think um, I am not a wine connoisseur but I am a wine consumer <laughs> and um, I'm really enjoying it so let's get going all right, random question. Here we go. Are you an indoor or outdoor person? So I would say I'm kind of both. Um, I enjoy to be out in the sun. I have vitamin D deficiencies, so being in the sun is really important to me. So I like a lot of light. I'm really happy because my apartment has huge windows where I can get a lot of sunlight. Um, but I also like the AC. If it gets too hot, I want to be in air conditioning. If it gets too cold, I need the heat. So I'm I'm outdoors in a sense that I do like to be outside by a beach, by water. Um, I'm indoor if um, the, what is it called? The, uh, whatever, like the weather gets too extreme. All right, next question. What is the longest that you've gone without doing laundry? Oh, you nasty. <laughs> um, I'm going to answer it though. Um, <laughs> let's just say I've there's been times that I, I actually rather Febreze my clothes and buy new underwear than do laundry. This is like back in my heyday. Now my laundry is like right there. I'm going to do it all the time. What are some things that you shouldn't say at a funeral? That's messed up. Um, like, glad they're gone. Like in that, I mean, I think, cause you could also say glad they're gone and like if they were really suffering, but I don't know. Maybe like, mm, it looking kind of sexy in that casket. That's, that's something you shouldn't say. That's legitimately something you don't do it. Don't do it. The fact that I even thought about that. <laughs> wow. Okay. If you could try out any job for a week, what job would you choose to try? I already know this. So when I was growing up, I, um, and not even growing up, when I say growing up, I was like 14, 15. I said the best job, the best person, or the person with the best job is Barbie. And the reason is because Barbie could do all the jobs. She was a veterinarian. She was a doctor. She was a firewoman. She was a trophy wife. She was a model. She, I mean, like anything you could think of, Barbie was it. So I don't think I have like a particular one. Um, I think as I got like a little older I'm like technically that's kind of like actresses and actors um because they can be any person they they turn into that person that they're acting so I guess if I can't be Barbie I would love to be an actress <gasps> hello those are my acting faces okay, another question 
What was your worst restaurant experience? So, I, ooh, um, this is water. I guess the worst restaurant experience I had was when I was on a date. I mean, this wasn't bad. I, yeah, I guess this is the worst one. I was on a date and the guy was a little hood. And we went to this really nice restaurant in, um, I won't say where. Um, it's Eddie V's. Dang. Anyway. Um, it was at Eddie V's in a certain location that I used to live in. And he, like, it was like our first date. Um, and um, he's like, order whatever you want. You know, I could tell you, I could tell you that type of girl. I was like, okay, cool. I was, I was on one. I'm probably going to do like a, my horrible date series with this. But anyway, I was on a date with this guy. And he ordered, we ordered, like, Eddie V's is, like, a, a seafood restaurant. They have steak. I mean, like, it's a really nice restaurant. So we get there, and we sit on a place in the restaurant where we're looking outwards. So pe people can see us. It was, like, it was, it's weird. It was, like, a, it was, like, an elevated area. So our, we're facing the rest of the restaurant. The rest of the kind of see us. It was a number of people, but we could see the restaurant. Now, we were um, some of the only melanated people there, but I digress. We're eating, and our, we order our food, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll have the surf and turf. They're like, would you like a wine? I think I order, like, a Chardonnay or something. Like, I order, like, a white wine with my food, and he's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do a bottle of that. I was like, okay. And then he orders... He's like, man, the scripts look good. The, the what? The, the what? Okay. The, okay. And he's like, nah, I'm going to go with the lobster. Let me, let me hit the lobster. So the, <laughs> the server was like, they already were like, okay. But then again, there's, there's a lot of, sometimes there's a lot of hood people that go there. So they bring out the lobster. They bring out my surf and turf. I'm eating like a normal human being. I have like my medium rare steak. I have my my lobster. I'm just like having at it. I'm having my wine. My wine. Homeboy has a fork and a knife and just like hacking at it. Like <laughs> he, <laughs> he was like shredding it I was I looked over to him there's pieces of, of lobster just flying out and I'm like oh no so I politely took his plate and started to, to um to cut little baby pieces of lobster for him so that he would not embarrass my ass and so he's like man you real one you a real one. I was like, oh God. Now, the date didn't end there. Um, maybe I'll tell you guys about that. And that if you want to hear more about this horrible date, um, it, it deals with a lot of interesting twists and turns. Um, comment below. Be right back. My mommy's calling me. All right, that was a long one. So, and my boyfriend just came in. He left the bathroom door open. That's fine. I'm going to do one more question and then we'll see. If you were the opposite gender for one day, what would you do? So funny enough, I've thought of this and <laughs> um, <laughs> the first thing I would do Is P standing up? <laughs> I would I would P standing up. I I would whip it out and like P. Um, you know it's a 
simple things in life that uh <laughs> this this is the simple things in life that I, I, I kind of want to understand their men's anatomy and like how that moves. Um, you know, I know some women are like, jog in the night. I don't jog. I don't jog in the daylight, so I'm sorry. Um, I just, I just. I sorry. I just, I just be standing up. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got to know my crazy self a little more. I'm going to drink a little bit of my cucumber and ginger water. It's so delicious. And a little more of my wine. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in so much. I hope you guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. If not, I had a blast doing it. And I got wine out of it. Um, also, an introduction to this damn purple. It's so, ooh. There, I have a little speck, but this one, man, it was here for the whole show. So I hope you enjoyed him. His name is Paul the Pimple. Um, anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys have an amazing Wine Wednesday. Continue to drink, continue to enjoy, and I will see you guys uh, next week. And that was weird. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Have a beautiful and amazing day. Oh.